dreams come true. Well, certainly the outcome of the game wasn't what we had hoped for. If you um, I will say this, a lot of positives. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, uh, I thought they played lights out. Um, that Coach Lampy put together a tremendous game plan, and that his coaching staff, I mean, man, I mean, for them to be able to implement that and get it done versus a team that runs the ball as well as they do on so many other opponents and, and actually shut them down uh, was absolutely, uh, uh, it's just amazing. It was, it, was, it was a beautiful thing to watch. From an offensive standpoint, um, you know, the, the, the thing that, that keeps uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is there's guys that, uh, there wasn't one guy that didn't give it everything yet. From an offensive standpoint, uh, we didn't get it done. Um, uh, it wasn't an effort issue. Uh, everyone on offense uh, was given everything they had. Everyone there wanted to be successful. Uh, but the problem is we haven't yet been able to get 11 guys working at one time doing their job uh, collectively. And um, until we, everyone's doing their job at the exact same time and we're eliminating missed assignments, um, this is what's going to happen. So we just get back to the drawing board. Um, you know, we say all the time, all we want to do is be the very best we be. We want to get better each and every day. And um, it's back to work tomorrow. down to one thing and it's a choice uh, going out there and giving it everything you have um, not having a missed assignment uh, not having any foolish penalties making plays converting on third down shutting down on third down is ultimately a conscious decision and um, if this entire team can make that decision that this week we're going to answer the call and eliminate those uh, shortcomings that we had last week then I have no doubt that we will see success but again this coaching staff has done all they can to prepare our men. Um, we've given them the tools that they need to be successful, and heck, at the end of the day, now it's up to them to go out there and do their job, and uh, we're going to have confidence that, they, uh, confidence that they will. Coach Lemke, I'm the defensive coordinator here at Northwestern Oklahoma State. I'm also the director of strength and conditioning for, the, uh, for the, all the athletic department here. Uh, in regards to the strength and conditioning program and uh, strength and conditioning overall, uh, a big philosophy that I have is uh, we're going to make everything replicable, make the movement patterns, replicate the movement patterns on the field. Um, in there, uh, there's truly one expectation, everything you got every time you go. Now, what that means is not give me 100%. Uh, it, it means go beyond 100%. What people think 100% is, is actually not everything they have. They can get further than that and get more than that. It doesn't matter to you what time of day it is. You do it right and clear. Keep your knees off the ground.
similar to a uh, weight room with resistance training out on the field for movement phases. Uh, we're really pushing the envelope and, and pushing outside our comfort zone so we know how to keep working when the times get tough and how to keep fighting back and ultimately how to finish everything that we start, whether it's a rep in the weight room, it's a rep on the field, or on game day, how to finish every single play, every single series, every quarter, and ultimately every single game. On the defensive side of the ball, <clears throat> on the defensive side of the ball, uh, there's a few different things that go on uh, mentally uh, for a defensive player than other players on the team. Uh, to be on the defensive side, you got to have a, a screw loose in your head. Uh, you've got to go about and seek out contact. The biggest thing with defense, it's not about going the easy way. It's finding the path of greatest resistance and fighting against it to get your job done. You know, defensively, there's four things that make up our defensive identity. When somebody comes to a game, puts on the film, these are the four things that they will see and walk away with about the range of defense. Number one, we're going to be smart. And we're going to play smart, we're going to be schematically sound, uh, and, and we're going to execute our job and understand how we fit in with our scheme. Number two, we're going to be aggressive, not only in play calls, um, potential different situations, but also in the way we attack and go about our business. We're going to be aggressive on the field. Third thing is we're going to be relentless. Regardless of situation in the game, we will not stop going about our business the way we play defense. Snap one to snap 100, we're going to play the game the exact same way and be relentless. Finally, the fourth point is we're going to be physical. Now, we want to be physical out there, and we want other teams to know that they played the Ranger defense. They come into the training rooms on Sunday at their respective universities, and they're going to know they came out of a battle with the Ranger defense. That is our defensive identity. To get that done, it requires all-out effort all the time. I always go back to everything you got every time you go. You may make a mistake in the rep, that's fine, but pursue and give everything you got in pursuit to make up for that mistake. Hello, man. Wanted to take this time to thank you guys for all your prayers, your well wishes, your sympathies, reaching out to me to check on, see how I was doing how I'm doing. It's tough, guys. Uh, being away, not being around you guys, uh, it's hard. Well, I'm trying to take this time to heal up. Uh, I miss being with you. I miss being around you. Uh, you guys keep fighting. Uh, we've been through this before. Uh, you guys were with me last year when I was battling cancer. Um, and I had to step away or step back uh, you guys are always there for me, and I appreciate that. Um, the comfort and solace I have, knowing that you're in good hands. You've got a great coaching staff um, that's going to continue to prepare you, get you ready to play. Um, I miss you. Uh, I'm, I'm working as hard as I can to try to get back as quickly as I can. Um, just hang in there with me. Uh, continue to pray for me and my family as I continue to pray for you guys. You're constantly on my thoughts and on the forefront of my mind. Uh, keep working hard. Uh, remember the process. Take care of the little things. Continue to work hard. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be with you soon.